Hey guys and welcome to the wiring tutorial. So this is the first kind of fan we're going to be looking at. So let me zoom in here to the terminals that we're going to, an example terminal we will be soldering to. So here's the first kind of terminal. Let me zoom in a bit more. There it is. So there you can see there's two terminals. Let me find the annotate so I can show you guys. So while I find the annotate tool. So these are the two terminals that the re that when you click the button on your remote, they can uh, the, the button connects the two. So you can see there's a bit space and it's usually a magnetic like type of button that usually completes the circuit. So the first terminal, oh, that's a little too big. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, so the uh, first, it connects the first terminal to the second terminal. There it is, and the second terminal. So when you connect the two terminals, it basically the uh, remote usually sends the signal to the uh, ceiling fan. So that's what the basically the relay is going to do. It's basically you're clicking the button via the relay. So. You can see when they, you click it, the LED should light up when the battery is connected and the signal should be sent through. And so you do that to the all four because I, uh, in, my, in my example, I don't use the light, but if you want, you can use the light. There isn't code to do the light yet, but you can do it separately. So here's the second type of remote and here's one, an example button. This one has actual buttons, so you just connect it you just connect wires to the uh, buttons of the relay board, which makes it actually a lot easier. So you can see the two terminals, and you just when you connect those buttons, and even if you like touch the but if you connect both wires, the command should go through when the battery is inserted. So that's the second type of remote. Okay. So just FYI, everybody needs to have somewhat technical knowledge if you do this. If you don't have much knowledge or experience with electronics, I highly suggest you don't do this project. It's a lot harder to understand since not all fan remotes are the same. So this is what all your wiring should look like as a finished product. In the next uh, picture, I will be showing you wiring diagrams. So this is what all of it looks like. I have a Raspberry Pi A+, and the code does also go for B+, or A+. So here's the wiring diagram. So you want to connect the pin 2 to the VCC, pin 32 to GPIO 12, I'm sorry, uh, pin 32 to IN 1, pin 34 to ground, pin 36 to GPIO 16, pin 38 to IN 3, and pin, uh, pin 40 to uh, IN 4. And so here's the relay wiring. So you want to connect K1 to the fan speed 0 wires, K2 uh, to the fan speed 1 wires, K3 to the fan speed 2 wires, and K4 to the fan speed 3 wires. So here's an actual diagram if you need it when you're wiring. So now we're going to be moving on to the software of the Raspberry Pi. So here's a Raspberry Pi. If you've used my Raspberry Pi tutorials before to do example the garage, you don't need to install the Python shell, but if you don't install sudo npm install python shell. So, take some time to install. So, while it installs, I highly suggest you enter super user. While I was recording this video, I forgot to enter super user, so I couldn't do it. So here now we're gonna make the NKDIR space Python. Make sure you use sudo before NKDIR. I already have the directory, so I don't need to. Next, you wanna enter the directory, and ensure there are no files in it by using the ls command. Now, next, you wanna do sudo space nano space fan one dot fan zero dot py. Sorry. You wanna hit enter, and you're gonna be taken to the nano editor, and there's nothing there. And next, you just wanna type the code that's on screen. This is the code that allows the fan to switch on the, at least switch off the fan or set fan speed zero. No dot of the HAP server, if you've already installed it, is going to execute this. 
So oh, make sure you already installed the HAP stuff, or else you're gonna be you're not gonna be doing well. And also ensure you're in the HAP directory when you're making the Python file, Python directory as well. So here, uh, alpha is the pin, as a that's what alpha is. So for fan zero speed, we connected that to pin 32. Here you can see I'm just, the basic code is that it basically triggers the relay for one second, which stimulates you pressing the button for one second. There we go. So now we're going to use gpio.cleanup, and that's the end of the code for fan zero. Just want to do control X. Raspberry Pi is lagging a bit. What does that? Oh, there we go. Control X, Y, and then hit enter. There we go. So that file's made. Next, you want to do sudo cp fan0.py and then fan1.py. Hit enter. And if you do, so now you've duplicated the file. So now you want to enter the duplicated file, fan1.py. And you want to change what the variable for alpha to uh, 36. And so then you want to save that, and then you want to do the copy command and duplicate fan1.py to fan2.py. So there you go, you duplicated that, and now you want to enter fan2.py, sudo nano fan2.py. And you're going to change the alpha variable to 38. And now you're going to duplicate it, sudo nano fan3.py. I'm sorry, oh, yeah, you have to first copy it. Oops, yeah, there you go fan2 dot fan1 dot, or you can do is fan1 dot py to fan3 dot py and sure you don't use fan0 and so now you want to enter fan3 dot py so there the alpha variable you just change that to 30 oh I'm sorry 40 yeah you want to ensure alpha is 40 for fan3 and so now if you run the ls command you should see there should be four files fan0 1 2 3 4 I'm sorry 0 1 2 3 and so now you want to run fan sudo python fan 1.py and it shouldn't have errors and your fan should start speed 1. So now I'm going to run fan 3. There shouldn't be errors again and your fan should be at its highest speed. And now you want to run fan 0.py and your fa ceiling fan should be switched off. So now once you're done with that, you just want to run fan 0.py once again. Or if you want you can run 1 again because I wanted the ceiling, my room fan to be on. So just to ensure you can't use the fan remote because you'll have all the wiring connected to it once you run this. So now you just want to go back to the previous directory with cd dot dot and enter the main hat node.js directory. And you want to enter the accessories and remove all the accessories except the fan accessory. So garage, if you use the garage tutorial, you want to make sure you don't remove the garage door accessory or else you won't be able to open your garage via Siri. But if that's a different Raspberry Pi, you're fine. So now you want to do LS again, ensure the fan accessory. I, for some reason, had a dot save, just ignore that. So then you want to sudo remove fan, uh, dash RF, you want to use dash RF, fan accessory.js. And I'm going to also remove that dot save thing. I, you shouldn't have that. So then you should see there should be only two files left in that directory, bridge, info, and type. So now the command you're going to use is sudo wget and this link, https colon slash slash google go.gl slash o capital n a d capital z 6 and hit enter. And it should download the file from my github which already has all the pre-made code. And there you go. It should be downloaded. There we go. It's done. It saves it as that ONADZ6, just ignore that. So now you can see that file is there. So what you want to do is you want to do sudo cp ONAZD to 
Z6 to fan underscore accessory dot JS. The F should be capitalized. If you hit enter, and if you do LS again, I'm sorry, never mind. If you just go to sudo nano, it should come up. There you go. So this is already the pre-made code. You can edit the display name to your fan name. Explore the code. Don't mess with uh, any of the actual like code. Like if you want, you can mess with the manufacturer model, serial number. See, I made my manufacturer hunter because that's who makes my fan. I didn't mind. You don't want to mess with the power state C type or the fan rotation speed C type. So th that's the main code that's essential for the fan to run. So you don't mess with any of that code, but if you want, you can mess with the manufacturer, display name, model, and serial number. So now you want to go back to the previous directory using the cd dot dot command, space dot dot. And now you're in the previous command, and now you want to run sudo forever start core.js. I'm sorry, for, sudo forever stop all, and then ampersand ampersand space sudo forever start core.js. Uh, uh, core if you don't have forever installed, run sudo npm install dash g forever. I'll have that command in the uh, description. That's only if you didn't run the garage tutorial on your Pi. So if you're running this on a brand new Raspberry Pi, you want to ensure you have hap dash node.js installed, also forever installed, which I'll have in the description. And there you go. It's now processed. And if it says forever processing file core.js, you're good to go. And so now we're going to be doing the pairing of the fan to the iOS device. So ensure you have the app installed, the HomeKit app, that's my previous video. You want to go to the configure tab, click on add accessory, and it should pop up, Hunter Fan. Uh, click uh, add and add anyway, and enter the code 0314154, that's pairing. And it's just a setting up device, device ready. That's a good time. You want to click done on top. So now if you go to control, fan uh, control, you should see the manual control for the speeds. And then you want to go to the configure, hunter fan, fan control, and you want to click on the star next to power state and rotation speed. And go back to favorites tab. And now you can see there's a controller. So FYI, you can't use Siri to control rotation, but you can use Siri to toggle the power. So if you want to toggle the speed of your fan, you need to use the app. It should, the rotation should fall out in a, in a few more iOS updates. At least that's what's rumored. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys had a great tutorial. Leave a few comments below and be sure to subscribe.